Hi, my name is Joe. Welcome to my channel where I help you make better coffee and give you honest reviews. Today I'm doing a little something different. I'm gonna do a series on improving your coffee bar. It's gonna be two, maybe three parts, uh, but the first one uh, is gonna be on this under cabinet lighting. So over here in the morning, it's pretty dark and I don't wanna flip the switch and like freak my eyes out. I just want a little nice light under here and it also looks really pretty too because you know, you can change the colors and stuff like that. So it's kind of a cool way to upgrade your coffee bar. So um, this is a Vaco Link uh, strip light. They don't cost a lot. They're like 30, 40 bucks. And luckily, the outlet that I have is right behind this refrigerator. So let me open this up. Oops. And let's get started. So... The outlet's behind there, so all I have to do is basically plug this in, and then there's a little smart connector right here, which is like the Wi-Fi piece of the, uh, the link. And then you have a strip light right here. Super thin, super easy. And All right, so on the back of it, there is double-sided tape. And on the front, you have these little sections where you can cut it. And then if you have corners, in this case, I do not have a corner, but let's just say you have a piece of your cabinet where there's a corner piece. Well, then you can use a, I'll show you the section. I have to kind of find it right here. You have to cut it directly on this piece and you could use a little connector that will connect into it and turn it around. I'll show you a little snippet of what we have in our corner piece in another part of our cabinets. So yeah, you just click there, put it in, you're good to go. Uh, so right now, I am going to plug it in and get this plugged in. Okay, now this is gonna be pretty simple because I don't have a lot of stuff going on here. All I have to do is pull a little wire out. This goes in here, just like that. And then we'll have it start here. And then I'm just basically gonna start removing the tape, so. We'll start it here and then go all the way through this. Now it's super nice because it's so easy to install. You really don't even have to like move stuff around. It would probably make it a little bit easier if you did, but I just wanted to show you how simple this actually is. So we're just gonna keep going back. And you could even do that a little bit if you need to kind of straighten it out. You can take it off and do it. I wouldn't do it too many times because if you do it too many times, you're gonna have some issue. Now, luckily for me, that piece ended pretty cleanly right where there's a scissor. Now you can only, I wanna very much stress that you could only cut it on these scissor pieces. There's one there, there's one there. You can cut it here as well. Just make sure you get it directly in the middle. And then there's another one over here and there. So just make sure you get it on the right spot. I'm gonna cut this right here and be pretty accurate on where you're cutting it. Okay, and then just line this all up. Boom. All right, let's test it out. Let's turn it on. Woo, we got lights. So the light works pretty nicely. I'm gonna give this a, a little bit of slack. What you'll probably wanna do is maybe tape this piece. Like you're gonna wanna tape something just so that the wires aren't falling around and there's not a lot, because if you leave it hanging, this is gonna have a lot of stress on it, the double-sided tape, and it'll eventually rip off. So you're gonna wanna like tape that up a little bit. <clears throat> 
and also it'll keep it out of the way for when you let me put something hidden behind there for uh, other parts too if you have any outlets above like in the cabinets you could always drill a hole underneath here and uh, run the wires through there too that makes for a very clean look if you uh, are willing to do that then the next thing I want to show you is how simple this is to make it smart so we'll kind of jump onto my cell phone and I'll show you, I'll start recording my screen on my phone and you can see exactly what happens from there. Okay, so it we are on my cell phone. You're gonna hit the home app. It's gonna be as simple as hitting this plus button up here. Hit add accessory. And then you are gonna find on the back of the this little device here you're just going to go ahead and scan that up it's a light you're going to hit add to home so that'll connect to the home so once this is done connecting you're going to get it's going to give you a little notification like that on the light so it is working and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you how you can automate this. So not only will this be connected with Siri, I used HomeKit. If you have Google or you use Alexa at home, you could do either of those things. But I'm using Siri. Um, I like some of the automations and uh, privacy of that. So I'm gonna hit continue here on the app. I'm going to call it under cabinet, cabinet lighting or lights continue and then continue so once I uh, don't do that I'm going to go over back to the under cabinet lighting right here and then we are going to set a little automation here so in you hit add automation you're going to then go at a time of day and I'm gonna set this to turn on when my espresso machine turns on. And that's at 7.30 in the morning. And you know what? I'm gonna also set that. I'm gonna set the cabinet lights to turn on. I'm gonna make it a nice kind of yellowish light. Let's see, yeah, we'll make it a nice yellowish light, not too, new, not too intense. And we're also gonna keep it at 50%. So if I hit test automation, the camera will show this automation this is a nice warm light color so this is what it's going to be like at 7 30 in the morning right when my espresso machine turns on so anytime i come up here it'll be ready to go and with that said that is the first part of this series and the next one i'm going to show you how to automate your espresso machine this is the gagia classic pro and it's a very uh it's not very smart as it's very analog so we're going to make this a smart espresso machine on the next series. So why don't you hit the subscribe button and join me for that next one. Thanks.